YouTube, it's Hannah from Soundgish here looking very, very shiny and I'm kind of getting ready to go out with my friend or to go out to see my friend who is down, she lives in Yorkshire most of the time and she's down where I live, oh she used to live with her parents, uh, which is very rare and I know it's a school night, but yeah I thought I would do a get ready with me video, sort of a chatty sort of thing while I put on a little bit of makeup. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna pop my hair out the way while I do my makeup. Isn't that a good look? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start by doing fixing spray. I, I don't know whether or not I will have used it, but I've kind of been playing around with making an alternate intro. I love my original intro that I made. Um, I've been sort of playing around with making an alternate one, so I don't know if I've used it or not, but if I use my new intro, let me know what you think of it. If I didn't use my new intro, completely ignore this bit of the video. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been having a few ideas for a few different videos, because obviously Summer Holidays is coming up, and I'm going to have a little bit more time to kind of do things, to film and stuff. So I've had a few ideas for what I could do um, and I know that there's a video that I want to do which is like a if I could talk to my younger self sort of thing um, and so yeah I might be doing that one at some point that might be a video I do at some point this week actually um, and also I want to talk about my tattoos like tattoos I want in the future because I've got a tattoo booked for First of August, I believe it is. Um, with Sophie Anderson again, I'm super looking forward to it. She's gonna do me a death moth. Yeah, I can't wait. So um, I kind of might do a video on sort of that, my um, plans and future plans for tattoos. But I'm not sure because obviously, being for the time being, I am a teacher. I can't really get all the tattoos that I would like. Oh yeah. Um, I'm also thinking of kind of trying to do uh, some kind of, I know this is so cliche, but some kind of morning routine or something, especially over the summer holidays when I'm actually going to be doing stuff in the mornings, not getting out of bed at the last possible minute and throwing some work clothes on, cleaning my teeth and running out the door. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to film that. I am considering, like, investing, I guess, in a sort of better tripod situation. Um, but I don't know. Especially as... Mm, I've still got that little friend. Um, if you remember, I mentioned... I think I mentioned it in my vlog, but I am redoing this room. I'm giving myself an adult room because... You know, for the medium term future, I will be still living at home. Obviously, this time next year, my plan is to hopefully be thinking about moving to do my master's degree. But yeah, so I'm going to be redoing this room. Obviously, I might do like videos on that. But let me know if any of the things I just kind of waffled on about interest you in any particular way. So yeah. Just using some contour and kind of keeping it super low key because I'm just going to meet my friend. And she's like my best friend, but it's a Tuesday, let's be honest. <laughs> it's Tuesday, the 17th of July. And honestly, I'm just, you know. It's just an excuse to put some makeup on really, but I don't want to go too overboard. So, I mentioned in my vlog, I thought now might be a good time to talk a bit more about my work search. Because I mentioned, let me just check that contour. Yeah, that'll do. I mentioned that all was not good at the moment. Um, really quickly, I got this Glitter Junkie Highlighting Powder Palette 
from Primark the other day. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for Kat Von D. Um, it's got like a, a purple, a sort of a greyish blue tone and a sort of white pinky tone. It says not, not all that wonder are lost, which is awesome. Um, this is so good. Like I've used it a couple of times and I actually love it. Anyway, yeah, so I thought that this would be a good time to talk to you about what's actually going on. So let me think. Where was the last the last post? The last uh, bit of information I gave you guys. I think I mentioned you know how um, the school was closing and that. So um, you know my job is only going to be for a year. Well, well, it gets better. It really does because not only are they closing, but because they're closing. Understandably, a lot of the parents are interested in getting their children out ASAP. So, they don't really have that many pupils for next year because lots of their pupils have kind of already left. So, there's not, there's not really a job for me. I don't I don't really have a job, which is uh, which is interesting. I mean, I've got a job. They're still going to employ me. I'm still going to get paid and stuff. Which, if I tell you, that was that was the main issue. Was worrying. Am I actually going to get paid? Just realised I didn't put my phone on. But yeah. Um, so there's no actual role for me. Um, but we're going to talk hopefully this week about. I actually might be doing. By the way, I'm using a mixture of my Earth palette by um, My Sign, the My Sign Earth palette by Revolution, and my Soif Extra Spice palette. Just gonna say, I probably am gonna buy the original Soif palette because I do like the Extra Spice palette, but I, I think I, I want some of the shades from my original. Anyway, yeah. So I'm not sure what I'm actually gonna be doing for the next year. Um, I think I might offer because I don't know if I mentioned but like my role is going to be it's like you know a Senko if you don't uh, a Senko in a school is like the special education or needs coordinator well I'm not going to be Senko although that is something that I'm really interested in thinking when I stay in teaching ultimately but um, I'm going to be like the MAGT coordinator and that is uh, more able, gifted and talented. Um, so what I'm thinking, my thoughts are that I'm going to offer him, um, him being the head teacher, I'm going to offer him like to expand the sort of MAGT role to sort of be almost like Senko support but for the like gifted children so like support teachers by pushing them on doing groups booster groups boosting them up all that kind of thing but oh, I don't know it's just difficult because you know being being that I've this is only this is only going to be my third year really of teaching not including my training here because I did train on the job but you know it's not quite the same um I just feel a bit weird sort of talking about that sort of thing but you know the the head teacher of the school made it very clear that this is going to be a sort of a collaborative process for me to try and work out a role for the next year so I don't know I'm kind of feeling half confident and at the same time, a lot, oh my god, what, what is going on, what is my life, what is this, why is this, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm having a great old time at the moment, as you can probably imagine, but it's alright. Uh, so yeah, I'm... Um, 
today is Tuesday and I only have a week left. A week today I will be on the summer holidays and I will no longer be the teacher at my school and it actually feels very very odd. I'm starting to like take down my classroom and stuff um, and like take it apart um, and I'm going to be putting up the displays and stuff for the new teacher that's having my classroom and it feels very very strange you know it's like somebody's taking over my life but yeah it just feels very very odd and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it if I'm honest because like I guess a lot of the excitement of moving on to the next part of my life the next stage of my career and everything has been kind of somewhat dampened by the fact that everything's gone a bit peaked on but at the same time I've got that excitement of thinking well this is kind of giving me the push I needed to decide to go back to uni and everything so that's really exciting but then that's such a long way off um, and at the same time I'm gonna miss lots of the people I'm gonna miss lots of the people that I work with and stuff I don't know. It's just it's difficult at the moment. Things are difficult and I don't really know how to feel about everything. But I, th I think that's that's probably normal when things go a bit peaked on, isn't it? It's normal to feel a bit unsure of everything. Yeah, um I don't know. That excitement is kind of marred a little bit. Um and I'm yeah, I'm gonna miss lots of the people that I work with because lots of the people that I work with I would say are actually my friends now and so you know leaving them is kind of scary because I'm not the best at making friends I find it quite hard to be around new people um, extroverted enough to really make friends around new people. I'm one of those like somewhere between an introvert and an extrovert in that when I'm comfortable around people I you know I'm a bit loud and talkative and stuff but when I'm with lots of strangers people I don't know I'm very anxious and quiet and I kind of have to sit back and take everything in but yeah um typical Leo moon to be honest you know I am definitely a Leo moon the center of attention only when I'm comfortable with people <laughs> um yeah my moon's in Leo I'm an I'm a Taurus sun rising Libra with a Leo moon in case you were wondering. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit worried about that aspect of everything, you know, making new friends, settling in. Uh, kind of feels like, actually, when you move schools, you know, go to big school, it's that kind of nervousness. Which is a little bit bonkers, but it is that kind of nervousness. I'm sure if you like started a new job ever, like left one job and started another one, you know what I mean. The sort of worry, am I going to be happy? Am I going to make work friends? Am I going to get on with anybody? You know, because I'm, I'm a very, very specific sort of person. And I do find it hard to find things in common with people. So I found things in common with people that I work with now. And I guess I'm just a little bit worried about not having things in common with people. But I am sure all should be fine. Just worrying unnecessarily, and at the end of the day, just 
much for you. Um, I'm seeing Pete tomorrow. He's obviously he's been back. He's been very busy moving and stuff. But we're meeting up after my counselling tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully we're going to see each other a couple of times next week because he goes to America on the 27th. He goes back on tour, so I don't get a time to see him, but hopefully I will do. Can't talk. Let's do it. So yeah, that I believe is my makeup done. So let's quickly zhuzh up my hair. I've got my new Colab dry shampoo from the Vegan Kind box. Oh, it smells nice. It smells really good, actually. And there we go. That is me ready to go out. I think let's have one more fixing spray. Excellent. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this um, <laughs> drivel and rambling on um, and sort of catching up with a few things as I got ready to go out. And I hope you're having a great January. I can't believe we're almost we're over halfway through it. That is insane. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.